Ah, what's up folks, it's James of Welsh Gamer News here. I uh, just want to let you know with regards to my new intro and my new name change, I'm going to have to postpone it for a bit because, well, it was due to go over my friends yesterday and have it sorted out, but something actually came up, something unavoidable, so we'll have to arrange that now for next week when I fi when I finished my first week back in work. But there was one thing I wanted to uh, talk about today you probably know in one of my videos a few months back that i covered the conversation between jim sterling and digital Hol digital homicide and it was basically with regard to every game digital homicide cre create that they claimed to do to put their heart and soul into the game and they even accused jim sterling of stifling innovation now what you're seeing now is me actually playing one of Digital Homicide's games. It's called Temper Tantrum, which is kind of a good name considering the developer. But I thought I couldn't really talk about this unless I've actually played a couple of their games. Now I played Slaughtering Grounds and to be fair the less said that about the better. But this is Temper Tantrum now. Now this I believe they've taken a good, f I'd say a couple of months on this tops. But there's one thing about this. This is what we call asset flipping now. And that's actually a term that Jim Sterling has actually coined now. So fair play to him. But if you look at all, all of this now, the actual background of the room that I'm running around in was actually bought off the, the Unity asset storefront. Basically what you can do with Unity asset storefront you basically buy stuff on there and use it as a base you know around creating your game if you are a developer out there but you add your own stuff to it basically this is what temper tantrum consists of a 200 dollar background you know room like this the baby that you're playing as costs 40 dollars and the little monsters that you'll see around there are free so for 240 dollars you can create a game I'm um, using gaming quotation marks because God, that was grueling the the ten minutes I played of this, and you sell it on the Steam storefront for about a dollar, or in this case, like I said, I paid fifteen pence for it. Now, normally this is a good idea. Now there are a lot of people out there bashing the game, rightly so, but this is a good idea purely because there are a shit ton around the world of people called impulse buyers. Who will just see anything cheap say all right let's see how many games i can get for a pound and this will be one of them so that's understandable the problem i have though with the asset buying the assets is like with this game you just buy free assets put them onto a game then sell it on steam and and you claim that it's your own work and that i have a massive problem with now the reason i'm talking about digital homicide is because they've recently three times I just want to point out, they, they've done this three times, put up a Steam green light trailer of Temper Tantrum 2, which is basically the same thing, although you're outside and I believe the character they called Little Johnny is actually clothed. But other than that, it's the same game. And the reason it's been up for three times, they put it up the first time and they got a lot of abuse from this Steam, in, Steam community, and rightly so, so they put it down. The second time they put it up, they got more abuse and put it down and the third time they put it up they got a load of abuse and put it down so this just proves that digital homicide cannot handle any criticism because look if you put a game on steam you want that game to be sold to the community and you want to make money from it so that automatically opens yourself to criticism even with what i'm saying now i'm no i'm probably going to get criticized for for what I say, but I know I know that I expect that that proves if you put up. I believe when you put a Steam a game onto green light, it costs you about a hundred dollars, which in UK terms is about seventy quid. But I'm going to use a hundred dollars for now. Now someone can correct me if I'm wrong. So they've just wasted a grand total of three hundred dollars putting this game up on Steam and taking it down now in my opinion because he had that conversation with jim sterling i'm going to link it below in the description just in case you haven't what haven't what haven't listened to it it is absolutely cringeworthy and the fact that he had the nerve this guy i think his name's robert had the nerve to go to jim sterling and say you stifle innovation is probably the stupidest thing a person could ever say because as we know jim sterling's a professional critic 
if he finds flaws with a game, he's going to let us know. You know, the aim for critique is to recommend good games and to try and avoid potential consumers from buying bad games. Now, I would consider this as a bad game. Like, I'm not going to get a refund on this game. I'm not going to miss 15p, but in my opinion, I didn't get my 15p's worth from this game. Because, well, the controls are terrible. Even though it's, you know, on the keyboard, so it's up, down, left, right with W, A, S, and D. It doesn't go in a straight line. Why can't it go in a straight line? All you're doing with this game is just running into things and destroying. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, if I... Because I'm not a strong person. If I ran into my wardrobe right now, I doubt I'd break it. I, I've, I don't even know if that's even explains the point but you know what i mean they could have put some more thought into this game but that's my problem with digital homicide full stop it even goes back all the way to the slaughtering grounds when he did that video when he had a meltdown calling jim sterling a fucking idiot and things like that but this is just some advice to any to digital homicide just get out of indie dev developing because you have created such a bad image for yourself. I can't see a game that you make get greenlit ever again. You know, I, I could be wrong, but I just can't see it. Why can't you just put your thought and time into creating your game? Look, Let's look at another person that was a one-man developer. I believe the game was called Dust and Elysian Tale. Now, I'll have some footage of that upon this as well uh, hopefully you should see it now but if but you just gotta look at it look how beautiful that game looks it plays brilliantly it's been critically acclaimed by most game majority of gaming critics out there and you can see for yourself rightly so but this is, was a one-man developer and it took him um, i believe two years to make so this one i mean if you took your time to create a game and you made sure you're happy with it most of the time you come out and the game would be great not all the time, of course, but you can see with Dust and Elysian Tale, the company, or the one-man developer, rather, has put his time and effort and his soul into it, and he's made sure the game played well and did everything it wanted it, he wanted it to do. Now, that was released in 2013. We're in 2015 now, but like I said, the developer of Dust and Elysian Tale, I can't remember for the life of me what they were called and it took them two years to make now with digital homicide not counting the two green light games that they add up which were put down and those are temper tantrum 2 and six nights at susie's in a year and a half yeah but 18 months they've made five games and they are deadly prophets forsaken uprising the slaughtering grounds temper tantrum and medieval mercs and i just don't feel any thought is well i i'm sure some thought has gone into it but i'd like to think they take their time or hire a qa agent or hire some pr or you know anything but i can't see digital homicide coming back from this now i'm sorry it, well no i'm not sorry about it because he was a damn right prick to begin with but he's just gotta let this go now if he doesn't let this go he's just gonna get worse and worse for him but i think it's it can't get any worse for him even if it tried anyway but this is james of welsh gaming news logging off you take care